Raven. Today I'm showing you all my November setup in my mini happy planner. I will be using some stuff that I have in my stash as well as some items that I purchased from either Michaels or Hobby Lobby. Um, actually, I believe all my items are from Michaels that I purchased. And I'm also using some freebies that I got from some sticker shops that have freebies that they release either monthly or during special events. So right now I'm just kind of making a little game plan for how I want to divide up my planner. I kind of realized that my sections are all over the place and I really wanted to get them down so they're very cohesive. So I wanted a spot for my weekly school, social media, YouTube, notes, and collections. And I kind of have them down in like in a random order on that paper sheet, but later in the video, I'll go back and put them in order of how I want um, them to be in my mini happy planner. So right now I'm just taking out all of my Halloween designs that I created or dashboards that I created. Um, this little booklet here is a book that I put together just using three mini rings. Um, I just keep extra like covers and dashboards and stuff in there, extra inserts. So I'm just looking over my Halloween dashboards and there's nothing in there I want to take off as well as that vellum as well because it is very Halloween design so I just put them away and then here I'm just looking at some stuff that I either painted from Pinterest or again I got them from sticker shops so some of these are freebies from the Coffee Monsters Co, Fox and Pip, um, Once More With Love and I believe a couple are also from the Honeybee Shop as well. These are the items that I previously purchased from the Planner Press Dash Box. Um, and this is some stuff from Michaels. So the Planner Press Dash Box, um, that used to be a, su a subscription where you would just go ahead and order and you'll get a box each month of supplies that you can use to set up either, I think it was for like any size for the traveler notebooks and I'd leave for rings planners as well. But I believe the subscription is no longer for physical items. It is now a digital dash box that you can purchase and I'll be sure to link it down below. Um, so I did get this about a year ago. So I did save it and I decided to use half of the supplies to kind of use in my um, mini happy planner. I still have more pieces of paper of the vellum, the acetate, and it's put away. I want to save it if I ever decide to go back into um, traveler notebooks, but I did pull like half of the pieces that I have to use to create these dashboards. So I do have three previously created dashboards that I made um, when I first got my mini happy planner to kind of set up with, and it was using papers from Michaels. They are these really pretty rose gold foil um scrapbook pieces of paper that I purchased and I just made some quick ones I used some extra die cuts that I had from a couple of shop freebies and all I'm doing is just using um the sizing of my old dashboard to create two more dashboard pieces and I'm also cutting off this little piece here to use as a bookmark that I make with um a freebie from the Coffee Monsters Co. This is the vellum that I purchased from the planner dash box um and I'm just again marking like how big or what size I want it to be then after that I will trim it down to size just so it could fit inside my happy planner and I really like it like I usually don't use a lot of vellum and stuff in my mini happy planner but I wanted it to kind of be customizable like how I was in my traveler's notebook and I figured you know what there's no reason why I couldn't be as customizable and decorative so I decided just to go for it um and I don't believe the planner dash box, they do have um, an Etsy shop where they sell dividers and um, acetate and vellum and whatnot. But I don't think they have these designs anymore on the website. Because I remember after this dash box, she did have a few that she posted in her Etsy that you can purchase. I will go ahead and link the shop down below in case if you're interested in the digital dashboard or dash box, sorry. But... I don't purchase it from anymore just because I don't have like acetate and vellum and supplies like that that I can purchase from. So I just, I would rather buy my products actually made just to kind of save me the hassle of trying to figure it out on my own. So I basically went and just skipped over and, um, cause you didn't have to see me cut all of the papers up, but I just cut them all up to size and now I'm creating a little page, um, bookmark for my mini happy planner so this will be now in my weekly spot and that's where i'll be putting it at so i just cut out the little square piece of the white and rose gold hearts and i have printed out two of those coffee monster co um 
freebies and one of them obviously is big this one so I decided I'd just make it a page mark so I'm just going ahead and rounding the corners and then I also got these cute freebies from Plan What Shan and I show you guys too how I make these they're actually bookmarks so what you do is you print them out you can go ahead and if you decide if you want to um laminate them and then you punch holes in them so I already created one just to kind of see how it went and it came out really well so I decided to go ahead and to get the Coffee Monsters Co. Um, bookmark here. And I punched the holes using the kind of prototype that I made. So I just punched it out with the one hole punch. And then I make the slits with my scissors. And I just check to see if it fits in. And it works perfectly. So I'm super excited. I then decided to go ahead and to show how I made these bookmarks. So all I did was just when you laminate these, you have to make sure that you have some space to your right if you decide to make it a punched, a punched bookmark because you need to have some space to put your holes in either with like a personal personal ring or any kind of ring planner or a or a punch planner um or a disc planner sorry <laughs> but you have to like make sure you have some space on the side to punch your holes in so I'm just on the on the right side I'm just trimming all around and on the left side I'm kind of kind of trimming but leaving some space like a punch holes in so here you can see I kind of line it up with the one that I originally did and it came out really well um I'm sorry again I'm not like in a hundred percent in the screen for a lot of this I want to make sure that I got it exact and then I'm just kind of seeing where the old holes are at and I'm just punching where they were with the original one underneath it I'm just making my little slits which was really easy to do the slits isn't hard. Make sure to have enough gap so that if it's in a disc ring, um, it could pop in and out of your planner. And then I show real fast how that looks there. And I love these freebies. They're from Plan What Shan. I'll be sure to go ahead and leave the link for her website down below. She has lots of freebies for different types of holidays. And I went ahead and made them all. I didn't want to show you guys how I did all of them. I think one was enough. And now I'm going to how I actually decorated... Um, Oh no, I think I'm punching holes right now. So all my papers and my vellum and acetate, I decide to punch the holes in them. Just for me personally, I think it's easier when you punch the holes out before you laminate them or anything. Um, just because like if you laminate it, it's like more tougher to get through because you're going through the laminate and the paper versus if you have the hole already punched and your slits already cut out, it's easier to cut with the scissors after you laminate it. And the only thing I'm going to laminate are these two dashboards here and the Coffee Monsters Co. page insert that I made. Um, but I am also punching out the vellum, the acetate too, just so I can get it over with. And I think I kind of fast forward this because I don't think, you know, it's pretty simple, the process of how to do this. Um, but yeah, so I had a lot of fun doing this. It was kind of tedious because there's so much papers I had to get through. But once it's done, it's all set up. It looks so, so, so cute. So once I have that done, I decide to look over my dashboard. So I have three already made. I just need two more because I had five sections total. And so now I'm getting out a couple of the freebies that I also had from Plan With Shan, as well as some, um, I guess these are like kind of full boxes or decorative pictures that I found on Pinterest. I'm just kind of laying them out because I love the purples and the white and the pinks that I kind of have set up and they match really well with the um the vellum and the acetate that I have from the planner dash box. So you're basically just seeing my process of me just kind of moving things around, seeing what looks well, what looks good. I just kind of you know, it takes a pretty long process. <laughs> um, my mind always jumps around like once when we look good, I'm like, oh, it looks so great like this. I'm like, wait, let me try this way. And I continuously just move it around until I kind of am satisfied with it. So the pictures that I did have printed were of just like purple flowers, pink flowers, um, some white pumpkins. I had a couple of them printed out that said like, hello fall and like other things like that. And, um, I ended up really liking how the white pumpkins contrasted with these these pink flower arrangement. So I decided to use these two on the uh, grayish rose gold paper, I guess, that I got again from Michaels. And I just kind of lay it down again, seeing like what kind of catches my eye. And I thought that that looked really cute there. It's kind of, it doesn't take up the, all the space. You can definitely still see the gold foiling of the, um, the original paper. But I think it definitely adds to it. I just added this live, laugh, love one. I believe it's live, laugh, love. Um, sorry for, to the the way that the video kind of contrasts. Um, 
it was a pretty overcast day where I live. So I always have like a light on in my room and oh, there's my face light on in my room. And then I also have the uh, window open. So sometimes the lighting just gets kind of messy, but I think it looks really well. So with one of the boxes that I print out from Pinterest, I decided to use my one inch circle punch and just punch out some of these little dots and just lay them down about just where I feel they will kind of add in just because I purple is an element in the color scheme so I wanted to add some little pops of purple and I think it came out really well I really loved how it came out I think it looks pretty awesome I just laid down I think three of these little circles here and I think that's all I did with this particular um dashboard like once I had it set out which you can see I'm kind of all over the place trying to figure out where exactly I wanted to go and that looks great so this one is pretty much done all i have to do is laminate it and i'll laminate it with all three of them at the end and now i'm showing you guys my second arrangement and i really liked how this one was that purple rose card that i got actually was a little i guess die cut that i got from the uh from the planner press da dash box um and i laminated that one last year and i decided to keep it and to actually use it for my setup so I don't laminate it with this dashboard I end up saving it so again another paper that I had I went and I punched out more holes and I was going to use this whole pumpkin um picture but I decided not to because the other one had the white pumpkin so I didn't want to like overdo it with the white pumpkin so I decided to punch out some more holes I do have some other punchers I have one of hearts triangles and of the banner but I decided just to stick with the circles just so it'd be like simpler I guess I'm kind of fixing, um, like using my scissors to refine the circles that I punched just because like that puncher is really old that I have and I could tell that it was getting old. I think also I wasn't punching it correctly. Like I was pushing down too slow when it came to punch the paper. And I'm just trying to figure out now how I want it to go. And I really love how the purple contrasts with the white and pink background. Again, I'm so sorry for the lighting. And I just, oh, the blue adhesive that I'm using is from Elmer's and it is the glue dots. You can find these at Michael's, Walmart, Target, pretty much any kind of store that has any type of crafting, you could find them there. I love this Elmer glue dot thing. I've been using it for so long. Um, it's like a perfect thing to have in your stash if you're into scrapbooking or if you're a planner girl, it's definitely needed. So what I've been doing with these dots is I've been laying down a pink dot with one of the white dots on top of it just to kind of give a layering effect so next I just turn on my um laminator and it is the scotch brand and they take out my laminate sheets and I just place in my dashboard it's pretty simple just like laminating anything um I get them all prepped and in the second one I have a couple of leftover of the pictures that I printed from Pinterest so I decided I wanted to laminate those as well just in case if I need them I did use them once I did my actual setup in my mini happy planner because I have a I have a lot of the uh, clear pockets that, that I think they're on sale usually in the target dollar spot so I have a bunch of those so I definitely add in um die cuts and everything and I use a couple of them as like a background just so it's not just white in the back because unfortunately I didn't have a lot of the uh I didn't have a lot of the paper scrapbook paper so the backs of all of my dashboards are white which is perfectly fine and I'm just showing you guys it um laminating out and I don't believe I show the whole process of me actually cutting them up because it's just cutting with the paper trimmer and so once it's done, all I'm doing is just cutting out the dots through the laminate. So you see, it's still kind of tough. It's definitely a lot easier that I had them already pre-punched out, especially now, like I know exactly where to punch them at and I know exactly where the slits are at. So I'm so happy. I love how this little freebie thing looks. Um, it's great. It's big, which I like too about it. And I just punched out my... Um, two dashboards that I made as well and I think they look so good I think they really all go together like I think it's a really good set I'm just kind of lining up now of where which order I want them to be in so I know I want to start with the fall one one with the mugs and yeah so they go in really good order and I like how it all came out and I was super excited so what I then do is I kind of just take off my um my inserts so I have like 
some YouTube stuff that I want to put in my social media and YouTube section. I have some collections, which what I have right now on them are like, um, I guess you would say like gift ideas for like my family and stuff and kind of like a, a TV show tracker and stuff. And it just, again, like a tracker. So now I'm just putting in the dashboard separated by each section and Again, I end up changing around the sections. As I said, like they weren't in order. I just wanted to place the the dashboards in so I knew like exactly where they were going to go or how the setup was going to be. So that's my collections and then my notes section there. So when that's done, I just decided to go in and the next put in the freebie that I made using the Coffee Monsters Co. The freebie, the <laughs> the bookmark that I made using the Coffee Monsters Co. freebie. And then I put in, I believe, the bookmarks that I made from Plan What Shan. And I just kind of decide where to put them because that one says Hustle Baby Girl. That'll be good for school. Um, for the YouTube one, I decided to add the Girl Boss Hustle. And I add another one into there too. Actually, I think there's like three of the bookmarks in that section. I just wanted to put one for each section just so I knew where I was at. Like right there, I put the notes clip that I got from Ashley Lay Designs. And I realized like, wait a minute, that's not my notes section. Why did I put that in there? And then I take it out and I put in, I believe it's the, yeah, Hot Mess Express. Because let's be honest, like when you have your YouTube and um, Netflix binges, you're not looking so hot. So I'm just, and now I'm putting in this freebie that I got from Simply Gilded, just a give thanks. And now I'm putting in the vellum and the acetate that I had from the Planner Press dash box. I'm just kind of trying to figure out like where I wanted to go. I ended up putting it in, um, putting all these in like right before the dashboards that I created. But then I ended up going back and putting them behind the dashboard that I created just because I knew I was going to put um, a lot of adhesive pockets behind the dashboards. So I felt like I just needed something behind the dashboard just so it kind of just aesthetically looked better to me, if that makes sense, which I don't know. I always go back and forth. So here I decided to put it on the back to have kind of like a back sleeve for when I close my planner. And then that's when I realized like, well, like it looks okay, but I'm not sure. And I decided to look at the beginning. I'm like, yeah, I don't really like it how it is. So I go and I start switching it up as you will see right here. <laughs> um, but I actually made a mistake with this video. So as I was filming it and as I was setting in, like adding all my die cuts and whatnot to uh, my planner, my camera died and I did not realize it. So You'll probably see in the next couple seconds that my planner is filled out with all of my die cuts and whatnot, but that's what then I realized, oh my goodness, I completely forgot to put my inserts in the order that I wanted them in. So you see here, I'm still kind of moving around how I want um, the acetate and vellum to look. I decided to put this pr pretty floral one in the beginning, or in the front in that section, and the dotted one in the back. And... Um, what I then do is once I kind of have my setup pretty much done, um, as you'll see here, like I'll go through, it's pretty much done. But then I realize, oh my goodness, I still have to um, put them in the right order. So I take everything out to put it all, order, all in again, which I'm okay with because I was not happy with a lot of the sections. Like the only one I was really happy with was that YouTube section there. Um, I just, I don't know, like each section there was something that I wasn't really happy or excited with. And then I think right here, I'm like, oh shoot, I totally forgot to put them in order. And I was kind of thinking like, well, I could just leave it. I don't have to take it out. But I just knew it would kind of bug me because like I'm not in school right now. I'm on break. So I have no reason to have school right in the front of my planner when I should have my social media right in the front. And yeah, so basically I go and I just take everything off. I want to keep the dashboards in the order that they're in just because I'm very particular about that I don't know I'm just so weird and I take everything out and then I move around my inserts the one I leave is this spot here and the first acetate is a polka dot and marble kind of theme um, of the acetate so that one's like that I have two pictures of my friends and it was like they each surprised me with like a going out 
dinner thing. It was when before I moved here, like my last week in California, and they each decided to surprise me with dinner. We went out for drinks and stuff, and it was so nice. So I had that right in the beginning because I love seeing pictures of my friends. So here I'm just moving everything around. I'm taking all the inserts out, the uh, the bookmarks that I made. I'm just putting everything in order that needs to be. Um, when I was filming this, me and my fiance were in a Doctor Who coma. <laughs> like all we were watching was Doctor Who. So I made sure to have the little bookmark in the middle of the Doctor Who section. I love using these project goal sheets from the Happy Planner line because they really do help me stay on track for school. I've been using, I've been using them for the past, like, I want to say, actually, since I first found out Michael's a couple months ago, I've been like loving them. So I've been using those nonstop. So now I'm kind of going through and deciding what I want to do. I keep this page marker the same. All I did was add a clear pocket and a picture of my family, a picture of my fiance and his two kids, my bonus kids, and a picture of me and my fiance. For my YouTube section, I just put down a picture of myself that I printed using my HP Sprocket. All of my pictures are printed out using that. And I also put down a banana doodle shop, thick like my planner, die cut on the Hello Fall um, side. On the opposite side of the get shit done and the hustle baby girl die cuts are from banana doodle shop. The Coffee Monsters Co. one is a freebie that I got from the Coffee Monsters Co. And that study of a raven die cut was from a freebie that I got a while ago from Kina, Kina Prince. So for my collection section I decided to make it more of like a family section because I do have stuff in there that I have for like my family members and like gifts and things like that so I have a clear adhesive on the back of one of the dashboards and then there I put in a picture of me and my family a picture of me and my mom and one of the um pictures that I decided to uh to laminate and it just says hello fall i switch it out and i end up putting instead these white pumpkins and this picture of me and my mom um in there as well above it, i have a picture of me and my friends at one of at my friend sandra's going away pool party and then i put in this uh fox and pip die cut that i have it's from ooh from some time ago um but i'll be sure to link it down below and i decided just to cut out the black two lines on that picture of me and my mom. And on the opposite side on the acetate, I have a grumpy bear die cut. And I love it because it has that like reef design and it's perfect for the fall. I then lay down this pink bow die cut. I got it from a freebie. I do not remember where I got it from, um, but I just added on. I think it looks cute. Like the bow is like a present kind of thing and it just looks adorable. So then I go to my school section and I have a, a pocket there as well. I think all sections have a pocket. And I, the, I laid on this um, heart die cut that I got from Banana Doodle Shop and the Fox and Pip Girl that's from the Fox and Pip. And this Hey Girl, You're Perfect die cut is also from Banana Doodle Shop and the Butt First Sleep Pillow is from... I believe it's from Fox, Fox and Pip as well. And I laid on this freebie that I got, I think it was last year from Once More With Love, the munchkin behind the red cup and the slurp uh, drink die cut as well. I don't remember where I got that one from. I'll have to find. And for my notes section, I decided to add, you guessed it, a clear pocket. And I put on this planner girl, a die cut from Miss Moss. And it's just so cute. You could get these customizable. I just love them. I have like five of them. They're just so great. I put on this Hello Fall um, Pinterest photo that I found as well as a Fox and Pip Planner Girl pocket. And then I think I put two mini traveler notebook notebooks that I cut in there as well from Blender Shop. So now I'm just kind of going through and just showing you guys the setup of my plan is how it finally looks and I absolutely love it. It is just so great. And I just kind of wild myself with this. I decided just to go and just to film it. And I wish the lightning would have been better, but I just love how it came out. And I have a couple more die cuts on the way from Plan With Pin and a couple other shops. And I'm really excited for how this will look as well as my winter setup. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this, go ahead and like. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment down below of your favorite thing about fall. 
Thanks, you guys. Bye. Bye.